obviously the coolest zookeeper in town. I went back to Flamingo Land for some extra work experience this summer. God knows why. Working in a zoo is amazing. You get to work with wild animals and in some cases get up close and personal with them. Not in that way. And it's such a privilege and I want to be doing that every single day. The people? No. You should probably know by now that I am not a people person. And over this short space of two weeks, I came to learn that the more you work with animals, the more you come to hate people. And I already hated people in the first place. So... For example, one day I was working in the Wallaby walkway. Wallaby walkway enclosure. Um, for a mere three hours. In that short amount of time, two people asked me if there was anything else other than wallabies in that enclosure. No. It's, it's a Wellby walkway, says it on the door. Five people, five, asked me if the rhinos were in that enclosure. No, it's a Wellby walkway. One group of people thought they were kangaroos. Wallaby, it's a Wallaby walkway. And one woman, she was nice, informed me that a bunch of morons were throwing chewing gum at the baboons in the next enclosure. What the fudge possessed them to do that? The amount of people that I have seen clapping, shouting, cooing, clicking, waving, etc etc at the animals is just unbelievable. A. They aren't going to wave back. B. You're probably just scaring them off or annoying them. C. If they look like they're playing, they're probably not. They're probably getting really annoyed at you and just want to kill you. One of the keepers was in the bird enclosure and she was just minding her own business, just cleaning it out. And she counted one woman saying hello to a parrot 71 times. Another keeper had to tell a grown woman to stop swinging their cardigan in front of an animal's face. I had to ask a kid's parent to stop their child from poking sticks at an emu. Oh, oh, but, but, but it's eating it. No, it's not, all right? It's trying to eat your kid's fingers because she's annoying him. Just one more point. Stop trying to be funny. The chances are that keeper has heard the same joke three times before in the same hour. You know the Madagascar song? I like to move it, move it. Stop singing it in the Lima walkway. Don't ask if you can take one of the animals home. You can't. Common sense. And if you see someone cleaning the windows of the tiger enclosure, or any enclosure at all, don't tell them that they've missed a bit. Don't ask them to do your own windows. And do not tell them to do the other side. Basically, next time you go to the zoo, Try not to be an idiot. Just try.